What's up guys, it's your boy Nightmare Reaps here bringing you some Battlefield 4 beta gameplay commentary. This is the exclusive beta that's out right now for the PS3, the Xbox, and PC. Uh, it was out on the 1st, the open beta doesn't come out until the 4th, which is I think this Friday. So I hope you guys enjoy it. This is a first impressions video on my part. And I'm going to be talking about, I'm going, I'm going to be talking about some things that I noticed in the game. Uh, you know, some things that I had questions about, some things that I liked, some things that I didn't like, that sort of thing. Now, keep in mind, this is a beta, so any things that I list off here can change in the future in the final Battlefield 4. So don't take anything I say too seriously, but I'm going to give you the most thoroughest walkthrough of the beta that I possibly can. And in this video, we're going to be talking about the medic, the recon engineer, and support classes along with some of the vehicles in the game. So first off, let's start with some of the mo more general little details that I noticed. The very, very first thing I did is I changed my controls back to veteran because what they did is they made your controls like COD. So usually, you know, how in Battlefield 3, your joystick, you push down to crouch and go prone. In Battlefield 4, it's to knife, you know, so if you like to melee, that sort of thing. But you can switch your controls back to a veteran, which is Battlefield 3 settings, so that wasn't really much a problem. Um, they added a new camera to the menus, which is pretty interesting because it gives you a little bit more strategic element to the game. Because instead of just spawning on someone, you can actually see what exactly what they're looking at. You can see if they're getting shots, you can see if they're laying down, you can see exactly where they are, so that's pretty cool. Another thing I noticed is that the guns were a little less bouncy, but this this was more for the medic class because that's the one I was running, which was assault rifles, and they didn't bounce up as much, especially at long range. Usually in Battlefield 3, I had to tap on my trigger, like tap, tap, tap to get a long range kill, but in this beta, it wasn't so hard. I, you know, just held my, I held my finger down on the trigger a lot longer, which was pretty cool. Uh, you can also get kills with assists that makes sense um actually let me say that again your your assists count as a kill yeah yeah there you go that sounds more more reason more clear <laughs> and by that i don't know if every assist you get counts as a kill or if you have to get certain amount of damage on the character before you get the kill like i think i don't know if this is right or wrong don't you know don't don't quote me on this or anything, but I think if you get 75% damage or more and someone else comes and helps you and gets the kill, you get that kill as well. Pistols are awesome in this game. I love pistols. I'll put some clips up of me getting getting some kills with the pistol. They don't just, they, they look like amazing, but on the other hand, they're great to use. They're, they're, I'd use them as a primary, you know. One thing that I did have a question about though was the bipods. The bipods in this game, I think are automatic which kind of got annoying after a while because you know bipods when you go prone you act they are they automatically activate which is cool but there's some scenarios where i'm running around and i'm you know taking cover behind a car because a guy comes rushing me and something like that and then the bipod activates and i'm like no i was just shooting this guy and i die something like that so i hope they change that i hope they go back to battlefield 3 where you have to you know manually act manually activate the bipod itself um, one other thing that I noticed is that I didn't know if any of you guys who are playing the beta so far or that will play it when it becomes open is take a look at your health regeneration. Is it just me or does the health take a little bit longer to regenerate? You know, and not it's not a huge amount of time, but it did seem like your health regenerated a little slower, you know, even with the med kit. Oh my god, somebody's hammering outside. Even with the med kit, it still kind of sound sounded it still kind of felt like your health was regenerating a little slower but that maybe just be me again with the respawn timer again I, I felt like the respawn timers were a little bit slower as well another another good thing about the map that I noticed is that it's a lot more interactive this time around and what I mean by that is there are a lot more things you can mess around with the map like there's shutters and the domination map which is the raid on Shanghai I think the name of the map is uh, there's shutters that you can help to keep an objective safe. You can close them, you can open them, but they're, I'm not going to lie, they're pretty easy to destroy, you know, just a rocket launcher, RPG, something like that. But the fact that you can open and close them to make sure your team doesn't get that cut off makes it, makes it really cool. All right, now let's start talking about your classes. So let's start off with the medic, which is the first class that I played. The first thing I noticed was that the kit size was a lot smaller. And in, in the Battlefield 3, you throw this gigantic like backpack luggage thing looking thing. And Battlefield 4, it's this hand sized little medic thing. And it doesn't last long as it did in Battlefield 3. In Battlefield 3, you can throw down a med kit and heal like three or four guys around you. In this, you throw it down and I, I think it only lasts for a certain amount of time I don't know 
if the more people are around it, the less it heals you if that makes sense i think you might have to throw down one or two or three depending on how many people are around you so that's interesting that'll make it a little bit more hardcore you know don't have that health all the time because who's used to getting into gunfights and just throwing down the the med kit hiding behind the cover get some health keep going in the gunfight that was always that always helped a lot uh, other than that the medic is still the same I like the assault rifles that sort of thing now on the other hand we have recon which is you know the sniper and the first thing I'm going to say about the sniper rifle is that you have to be extremely accurate with the sniper rifle. It wasn't in Battlefield 3 I got some kills with the sniper rifle that I was like, oh, I can't believe I hit that. In the beta, it feels like you have to be extremely accurate. And on the other hand, talking about quick scoping, I don't think, like, it is possible to quick scope. I've done it a couple times, but I get a lot of hit markers. Like, I'll hit a guy in the chest, like, clean chest shot, and it'll get a hit marker. So I don't know. If they're gonna change that I hope they do but so far right now there's a sniper rifle the one that they give you in the recon class maybe it's a little weaker maybe it's not as strong as it was in Battlefield 3 but we'll see what happens moving on to engineer the submachine guns felt like they had it a little bit more recoil I'm not gonna lie it felt like it bounced up a lot more but to keep in mind the submachine guns are for close range battle and I'm a long range battle type of guy so maybe that's why I felt that way I did feel that they bumped up the rate of fire on the submachine guns. I, I was spraying around with the submachine gun like crazy, and I did get a few kills, which felt really nice. And it, it just felt good all around, you know, rather than the kick. But, you know, no, no really complaints there. Now, if we move on to the support class, which is the last one I'm talking about, which is the light machine guns, if you guys don't know that already. I felt like the light machine guns in the beta had a really, really low rate of fire. Uh, they they seemed a little higher in Battlefield 3, and I don't know if that's a good thing, but my concern is that if you load the rate of fire on the light machine gun, is that going to make it harder for you to get a kill, or did they bump up the damage so more bullets, you know, it'll take less bullets to kill? Because I hope that they don't lower the rate of fire and make it harder for you to lose the light machine gun. And the clip size is really small. I don't know if you have to earn that as an upgrade or something like that. But the rounds were small on the light machine gun. But it was still cool. You know, I, I got a few kills with it. I was having fun with it as well. Last but not least, let's talk about some vehicles in Battlefield 4. I had the privilege of driving all the Jeeps and the tanks. I can't find a way to get into a helicopter. I tried and tried and tried, but I was just getting trolled during the whole time. Everyone kept on getting the helicopters before I did. So first thing I'm going to tell you about is that they changed the controls for the vehicles. As you're used to in Battlefield 3, you know, you use your right R2 button on the PS3 or right bumper on the Xbox 360 for your throttles, you know, reverse, forward, that sort of thing. But now it, it's 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 kind of weird, but it's easier at the same time for those of you who are new to the Battlefield series. All you need is your joystick. You use your left analog stick to move forward, back, and to turn left and right. It's a little funky at first, but it, it's kind of easier. I'm not gonna lie, it's 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 a lot easier to to use the joystick. But if you want to switch back to your old Battlefield 3 controls, you can switch back to veteran. So don't worry about that. It's just one of those new features they put in. As for damage and, uh, you know, armor on the vehicles, everything felt about the same. The sights look a lot cleaner. Uh, it's not, you have less things on your screen when you're in a vehicle, which is great. It, it makes it easier to find your targets, uh, a lot more open space on the screen. It makes it easier to shoot them, shoot at them as well. And I think that's it for the whole Battlefield 4 beta. I hope you guys enjoyed my video. I hope you guys found something useful in this. If you played the beta and you saw something you didn't like, or if I get if I said something wrong, then let me know in the comments below. I tried to give you guys the best video I can on the beta. So I hope you guys enjoy it, and you will definitely be seeing some Battlefield 4 gameplay on this channel uh, when the game comes out. So I hope you guys enjoyed my little first impressions video on Battlefield 4. Leave a like, leave a comment, and I'll see you guys later. Nightmare Reaps out.